Hi, this is Kyle with Global Social Media Marketing. And in this video, you can expect to learn how to build a three-step sales funnel using high-level CRM. Please subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you'll get notified whenever we upload new videos, and share this video with anyone else that may find marketing and technology information useful in their business or day-to-day -day lives. All right, let's go ahead and get started and we'll get into the video. All right, so once you get logged into high level, um, this will be like the main dashboard that you'll see because we're an agency. I'm gonna go to the global snapshot. So all of these things in here are snapshots. So they're basically different sub accounts for all of our clients. And we have one for ourselves because we run our own ads too. So I'll go into the global snapshot and then to get started with like creating a funnel and creating a landing page that we can drive traffic to we're going to go to the funnels and websites section click the drop down and we're going to click funnels and here you can see we we have a bunch that we've already created and we have some that are live right now so for instance this roofing sales funnel is live right now what a funnel is is basically web pages that you drive traffic to with the goal of achieving some business outcomes. That would be, you want people to purchase a product, you want people to submit lead forms, you want people to subscribe to a membership, any of those things. And what we primarily do for our clients, for ourselves is generate leads. So prospects that have the potential to turn into customers. To start off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new funnel, click this new funnel, and then I'm going to enter the name for the funnel. So we're just gonna say, to ads training funnel and click create funnel. The structure of the funnel is here in like this dashboard, but we actually have to create the different steps. Funnels can be as few as one step. So you could just have one page and then that page redirects to a, another page already on a site, or you can create multi-step funnels, which is typically what we do. We usually do a two-step or a three-step funnel. A two-step funnel is where you get someone that clicked on an ad and they get on the they land on the landing page. The landing page is the first step. And then on that landing page, there will be some type of form or some type of action that you're requesting from the users on that page. Once they complete that action, that would be filling out the form or purchasing something or uh, maybe signing up to an email list. Once they complete that action, then they'll be directed to a thank you page. And that thank you page is the second step. So that's a two-step. Um, a three-step funnel is the same premise, except there's a there's a middle page. So traffic lands on the landing page. They click a button on the landing page that directs them to some sort of action page. So that would be where you would put the form, where you would put the like an order page for an online product if you're doing e-commerce, or the entry field for someone joining your email list. Once they complete that, then they're directed to a thank you page. And that's a three-step. And the reason you would do a three-step is because on the on the analytics side of things, if you segment things out by pages, you can get more information on where gaps may be in your funnel if you do three pages as compared to two, because you would know if people are getting to the second page, but then they're not getting to the third page. Well, the landing page isn't the problem then because people are getting to the second page. So the problem would be the form or the qualifying quiz or um, something like that. So in this example, I'll probably go through setting up a three-step funnel. Uh, to add a new step, we're gonna add the steps in order. So the first step is going to be the landing page. So we're gonna say new lead landing page. We'll just do new that hyphen lead hyphen landing page. Then this import from ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is another like landing page solution. We don't have ClickFunnels, but if you do have a ClickFunnels, you uh, can import uh, landing pages from there. So we're just gonna click create and we're gonna go ahead and make all the steps and then we'll start editing the steps one by one. So this is the first page. We have the first page created. Now we're gonna add another step form fill out page. We're just gonna name the path same thing. So form hyphen fill hyphen out page. Create that, create the last one. Thank you page. And the reason you definitely wanna have a thank you page is because on that thank you page is where you're gonna put um, tracking code. You want to have code on the next page because the idea is that they can only get to that last page by providing their info. So once they get to that last page, you know that the only traffic on that page is coming from people that have given you their info or bought your product, watched your video or whatever. Thank you page. 
Now we're gonna edit the landing page first. So to edit, you're just gonna click edit, edit page. And now we're gonna go into the high level kind of page editor. First, you have to make sections. And then in those sections, you're going to have rows. And then in the, those rows, you'll have columns. So to start out, I'll show you, we have to create a section first. So it's asking us here, do we want the section to take up the full width? Do we just want it to be wide? Do we want it to be medium? Or do we want it to be small, like just in the center of the page? We're gonna do full width. Now we're gonna add a row. We're going to be kind of segmenting out how many different features we want side by side on the page. So this is the top of the page. So I'll just do one column here. And then inside the column, we're gonna add an element. So the element is where we're actually adding like the content of the page. So here I'm gonna do a big headline, generate qualified home renovation leads month over month with Google ads. The left hand side here, you can see a bunch of settings for formatting the title. So make it bigger, change the color, and we'll stick with that. Say I wanna add something in, in this same column here. I can just, you can see all these boxes. These boxes are representing the different um, formatting pieces that we went over. So, so here's a section, click this plus button. We're gonna add an image real quick, our own logo. Just do this one. And we're going to put this above here and we'll make it a bit smaller. To get rid of some of the space on the top, I can decrease the, what's called the padding on the top. There's also margin, which is the space that would be above the box. Typically what I would do is to make it easier, you can just click section, add section. I could say, okay, well, I wanna add a background image to this. Let's do this. Background image opacity, we will do a heavy fade. And we'll change the background color so that it's a little bit darker like that. And then maybe we want this color now that we've changed the background to be white, have it pop like that. Next, what I would do is I would add a subheadline. And then that subheadline, I'm saying something along the lines of what the person is kind of having a problem with and then saying how there's a solution to the problem. So right after this point, if people are really interested, we want them to be able to take action. So that's when we're gonna have a button. Get innovation leads, get case study. And then for the button formatting, we can change the colors here, have a little effect on it. So that if someone hovers over it, it goes up, it goes up like that. From this point, you can add more content and value later on in the page. So a big thing that I like to do is I like to add social proof as soon as possible after the main kind of call to action. So if I had another section, what I'm gonna add in here is I'm gonna add three column. What I like to add in here would be all images of either reviews or testimonials or icons representing like achievements or certifications. So we have five stars on Google, then I'm going to put that in there. And then that's the basic idea. What we can do is we'll just delete that. Now we just have two. And then we're going to take the padding down so that this section is a little bit and now we can go into kind of adding information. So here we could say something along the lines of, you can add some sort of image or video where you're going through some sort of case study. So this is our roofing case study. So if we had a case study for home renovation, we'd put that here, and then you can put more information here along the lines of like that. And then here's where you're pretty much going down the page and you can have offers based on the company that you're you're generating leads for or whatever your value offer is you're elaborating on that so you're you're stomping out pain points you're pretty much saying we have these value offerings and we're the one you should choose because xyz you're pretty much going through all that and then you're wanting to have multiple of these buttons on the page so came in here and i added another one column here and i added let's just say i take this button duplicate this button and then I'm bringing this button down here. I'm wanting people multiple times on the page to have the opportunity to say, okay, you know, I saw this, this is cool, but I want to learn more information. I come down here, I see this. It's like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to click this button. That's the basic format for setting up a landing page. What you want to do in a landing page is you want to have it highly relevant. You want to have it 
clean, so you don't want to have too many words, too many videos, you don't want to have too much stuff. You want it to be presentable and to the point, and you want it to be highly accessible, meaning that on desktop it looks good, and on mobile it looks good, and there are multiple buttons on the page. So there are multiple opportunities for people to take action. That's kind of the accessibility point of it. So we're going to go ahead and save this. To save, you click this save button in the top right. And then if I wanted to preview what the page would actually look like, you can click preview and it'll load it in a preview. So you can see here, preview, previews, and if I click this, it'll probably do nothing because we don't have it set up yet. So that's the landing page. As far as you creating pages, that is the general process for every page. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, create the last two pages here. And to get started with that, we know that we want people to fill out a form before we send them the case study. So we need to create a form first. So to create a form in high level, you need to go to a different section. So for that section, you're going to go to marketing and then form builder. And we're going to create, click create a new form here. We're going to call it training test form and in here we want to match it to what we said on the landing page so we said four quick questions so where are those four quick questions going to be full name email phone number company website that's what we're going to do so full name email phone number and website and what we're going to do is we're going to make all of these required so that people have to fill these out if they want to submit the form and then at the bottom of the form, we're going to have a button so that they can submit it. This button, we can click on it, color, make it a little bit bigger, and that looks good. We like this, we can click Save Form. And then we're going to go back to the funnel under Funnels and Websites. YouTube adds training funnels here. Just click on it to go into it. Now we're going to do the form fill out page. And then we're going to do section, add a section. We're going to say, we're going to do one column because we want it all to be center in the center. We're going to do, and then we are going to add an element and we're going to click on form right here. When you add in a form immediately, it'll ask you, okay, what form do you want? That's why we created the form first because now we can just come in here, YouTube training test forms right there, and then the form populates right there. This is really simple. You can make this look a lot nicer, but this will work. So let's go ahead and create the thank you page real quick. On the thank you page, what we're going to do is the same process. Go through a section. And in here, we're going to do one column and we'll do you should receive our case study in your email shortly. Now, this is fine for right now. We'll probably come back to this, but let's go ahead and link all the steps together. So. And then we're going to click on the buttons and we're going to link the buttons to the next step. So you click on the button element, scroll down, and you'll see this button action section here, link to. You're going to click next step because the next step is the form page that we want. And the same with all the other buttons on the page. Next step. Click save. And then say I want to go to another page in the same funnel without going back and going into edit, I can click these this grid icon. Here are all the pages in the funnel right here. So I can go to form fellow page here. Now for this form, what I can do is I can click on it and then redirect action. I'm going to click here. I'm just going to click go to next step. Click save. So now someone should go to here. So we can actually test this. So going to the landing page, click preview. I'm looking at this, all of it looks good. Okay, I want to get a case study. I'll click on it and it directs us here. Now I'll put in my information and I'll put in my email, put in my phone, and then we're going to do a little social media marketing, get case study. Thanks for submitting your information. You should receive our case study in your email shortly. So the flow works. So that's good. So that's the basics of setting up a three-step funnel and a landing page. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is what we can also do on the thank you page. So on the thank you page, people have landed here, but we can also get another action in, or at least ask for another ap action. So say they got our case study. We could also say something along the lines of, because the idea of this is that we just got like a home renovation lead, right? 
Well, maybe we want to actually have them talk to us. So we could say the next step is to book a free home renovation leads consulting call. Please pick a time and date that works for you below. And then what we can do is we can add in another element that could be a calendar that we have on high level or a calendar that we have on Calendly. And Calendly is the automated appointment scheduling software that we use for our company. So custom HTML, then what I can do is I can go to my Calendly, I can go to my account, click this gear icon, add to website, inline embed, which is pretty much embedding it, embedding it in the page. Click continue. It'll give me this code here. This code I'm just gonna copy. And then when I come here, I click on this custom HTML block, open code editor, and I just paste it in. No coding information required or knowledge. And then one last thing I have to do is because right now if I say I, I save this and I preview it, it's gonna open up like my basic calendar here where they'd have to choose a calendar because some Calendly accounts have multiple calendars. If I just want to go to a specific calendar, what I have to do is I have to specify the calendar I want to go to. So this is a 60 minute, minute calendar is the one I have. You see my name there slash 60 min. I would copy that 60 min there and then I go into the back end of the page, click on the code editor, and then where it has the, the link for the URL. This is the link of my, my calendar. After my name there, I'm gonna do that 60 min right there. So I'm telling it, hey, I want this specific calendar in that code block. Now, if I preview it, if I preview it, it'll come straight up with my calendar here. This is a way to automate people and leads booking on your calendar so that say they get through the funnel, you provide them with a lot of great information up front and they're hot and they're they're ready to go, they can just book a time on my calendar and they'll be talking with me at that time and date. So that's the basic flow that we have for our funnels. And that's how you build three-step sales funnels to generate leads and booked calls with high level. If you found this information useful, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and share this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.